Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will create a secondary DNA zone on Windows Server 2019. A secondary DNA zone is a read-only copy of a primary zone or another secondary zone kept in a secondary DNA server. A secondary DNA zone is used to reduce the load on a primary DNA server and also for preventing single point of failure. Any changes on the primary DNA zone applies to the secondary zone as well. In this lab guide, we have our server, server 2019 as a primary DNS server and member-server01 in which we will create the secondary DNS zone. Let's move to our member server. On our member server, already I have installed a DNS server rule. Let's open DNS manager console and for that, I'm going to click on start button and let's click on windows admin tools. Let's double click on DNS to open DNS management console. On DNS management console, I'm going to expand a server name which is member-server01. Let's expand it and let's click on forward lookup zones. As you can verify that we don't have any forward lookup zones created on our member server. To create a secondary zone on our member server, I'm going to right click on forward lookup zones and I'm going to select a new zone. On welcome to the new zone wizard, I'm going to click on next. This time we want to create a secondary zone and that's why I'm going to select the radio button secondary zone. Click on next. Here we need to specify the zone name. In our case, I want to create a secondary zone of our must be noob.lab DNS zone. Once you provide zone name, click on next to continue. On master DNS service console, type in the IP address or FQDN of server that have the primary zone that you are copying. In our case, IP address of our primary DNS server is 192.168.1.10. After typing the IP address of our master server, we simply need to press enter key. And it is also going to resolve the FQDN of that server as well. And that we can see here, server2019.mustbenoob.lab. If you want to specify any other master server's IP address as well, that time you can specify here as well. But we have only one primary server and that is 182.168.1.10. Let's click on next. Review the selection like the zone name is must be noob.lab, type is secondary and lookup type is a forward. It is going to create a zone file with the name must be noob.lab.dns on default location which is system32 slash dns folder. Let's click on finish to create a secondary zone. Let's expand for lookup zones and here we can verify that we have a one zone must be noob.lab and type is a secondary and status is running. But we are not finished yet. Let's click on our secondary zone and you are going to get an error zone not loaded by the DNS server. The reason is pretty simple one because we haven't enabled zone transfer on our primary DNS server. So let's move to our primary DNS server. Let's open DNS manager console. Let's double click on DNS. On DNS management console, I'm going to expand for lookup zones and let's select the zone must be noob.lab. Let's select our zone, right click on it and select properties. Click on zone transfers tab and select allow zone transfers. By default, to any server options is selected and which is not recommended at all. And that's why for this lab guide, I'm going to select this checkbox only to servers listed on the name servers tab. And by default, only the local server is listed under name servers. And that's why we are going to add the FQDN of our member server as a name servers on this tab as well. For that, I'm going to click on add button and let's specify the FQDN of our member server. In our case, it is member-server01.mustbenoob.lab. Let's click on resolve. Okay, IP address is there and that is 192.168.1.11. And here we, under validate, we can see we are getting one error that the server with this IP address is not authoritative for the required zone because we have only one authoritative DNS and that is our server 2019. But still we want to add this server as a name server and that's why we are ignoring this error. Click on OK. Now. 
Our member server is also listed as a name service for must be noob.lab DNS zone. Let's again move to zone transfers tab. This box is selected only to server listed on the name servers tab, but we also configure a notification for zone changes. And for that, you need to click on notify button and select servers listed on the name servers tab. Click on OK. Click on apply. So you can also select this box only to the following server and add the information about your secondary server. Click on OK. And now let me refresh this console. And you can see now we have a two and name servers and that our local server and our member hyphen server 01 dot must be noob dot lab is there. Let's go back to our secondary server. Let's right click on our must be noob dot lab zone and select refresh. Let's again try to click on refresh button here. Okay, as you can see, still we are getting the same error. Let's right click on our DNS zone and select transfer from a master. And now let's click on refresh button. And this time we have all the data which are available on our primary DNS zone. But if we try to create any new record, those options are not available on our secondary server. If we see the same things on our primary zone, that time here we have options to add new DNS resource record. And both DNS zones are going to synchronize with each other by using this start of authority number, which is 23 on our primary server. And if you check on our secondary server, that is same 23. If you add any resource record on your primary server, or if you remove any existing record, that time the start of authority number is going to update. Let's see that as well. Let's right click here and let's select new host record. Let's add new host record with the FQDN www.mustbenoob.lab with the IP address 192.168.1.12. We also want to create associated pointer record as well. Let's click on add host, click on OK and click on done. Let's right click here and select refresh. And now we have a startup authority number at 24. Let's check the same thing on our member server. You can wait for a few seconds and then after if you refresh this console, you will have all those changes on your secondary server as well. Let's click on the refresh button. And now I can see we don't have the, those changes here. So let's manually, I'm going to get a copy from our master server. Let's select transfer from master. And let's click on refresh button. Let's wait for a few seconds because now the refresh button is not available for us. And now let's click on refresh button. And as you can see, now we have a startup authority number with a 24. Same as our primary DNS zone. And we have a new resource record with a www. This is a host record mapping to IP address 182.168.1.12. In this lab guide, we have seen the steps to create a secondary DNS zone on Windows Server 2019.